What's up guys? We are back on this deck project. We are starting the waterproofing right now. I've got my guy over here, Matt, is cutting some of the components. This will all make sense once you see it go together, but he's cutting he's cutting uh, one, one portion of, of this deck waterproofing system. Basically, actually, you know what? Well, here. Okay, here they are. So these are the, these are the big ones. These are cut to go in between each joist bay. So basically how it works is they are narrower at the top or narrower at one end than they are at the other end and they'll get stapled up on top of each joist. So right here, it will be a very slight droop and then as it gets down towards the other end, it becomes a much larger droop. And I have installed blocking all along this girder for a gutter to be attached right here. So they come down and they end over top of the gutter. Then the pieces Matt is making are actually a stop essentially to keep the water from shooting off and missing the gutter. And then there's also gonna be secondary return pieces that come from the end and go back over to make sure that we don't have water getting through on the end. And then uh, my other guy Garrett, you saw in the drone shot is out there in the driveway cutting, cutting all these long pieces. We're just chalk lining them and then he's cutting them to size and so we got a little bit more a little more cutting and fabrication of all this stuff to do and then we will start assembling it all all right so here is the first step in this system these are called baffles and basically what these are is to catch the water that is running down these joists and it's going to run off the end of the the bladder that it's running into and it's going to hit that those bladders are going to be hanging down inside of the gutter and they'll all, you'll notice they're all random lengths because we're just using up the scrap that we had. Uh, but they will get cut and trimmed to follow the slope of the gutter, which will of course be tight to the joists here, and then slope down like any normal gutter would to create fall and drain down off that end. Starting the morning off with a check-in on the waterproofing. So while I was working on some backfill yesterday, uh, my other two guys finished up all of the main troughs or bladders. Uh, so you can see how they all look and this gives you a better idea. You can see how, I think I said already there, it cut 18 inches wide at the top. So just very slight droop up there and then they get a lot deeper down towards the bottom because they're 24 inches wide at that end. So we got nice, nice constant flow of water anywhere the water gets in here. And now obviously we have staples, you know, on top of each joist and we won't be able to tape over them right now because you can see obviously they're, they're currently wet because it is the morning and they're covered in dew. We will uh, we'll cover them with this G-tape and that's just a rubberized flashing tape, which Matt actually did a couple over here on this side already. Um, just kind of like duct tape, more or less, but it's specific. But it's specifically designed to be compatible with this EPDM membrane. We got the majority of it done. We've got three more pieces for that are just flat to cover this this portion, and the same thing on that side, and then right here in the middle, where which is part of the layout of our decking design. And then we've got to do the return pieces, which are just a super short version of this that'll start all the way at the end right there and then just come back a couple feet so that any water that goes on the end, we'll just run down that, land in the bigger trough, and then run down and land in the gutter. So today we'll be finishing all the waterproofing. We had our projection inspections on the, for the uh, support post holding the deck. 
up those paths yesterday. So I started doing some backfilling under here a little bit yesterday afternoon. I'm actually gonna be taking some of this dirt, that's why I've got it in, in buckets. I'm gonna be taking some of this dirt back to my house to fill in that area, uh, which you've probably seen in a pretty recent video, the, the space, the concrete uh, pad that we've been busting up for months and months, <laughs> been chipping away at, fill in the, the yard side of where that, that concrete pad used to be, so. Yeah, we're just gonna keep rolling though. We'll finish the waterproofing today. Uh, decking gets delivered tomorrow. So hopefully early in the day so we can get started on it. Uh, but one of the other things that I am probably gonna get started on a little bit today is one of the things that we've done a lot on our decks over the last couple of years is instead of doing like the basket weave or, you know, normal cross hatch lattice work, like is, you know, what most people typically consider lattice, like, uh, like, that stuff down there which looks cool I guess but it sucks to paint or do anything with it sucks if you're doing it treated wood and you have to stain it or whatever or paint it or anything and then the vinyl is often warps over time because it's so thin so what we do is we we run one by pressure treated one by material horizontally across all of this in a horizontal lattice type work uh, and I will throw in a picture here, just like this, which is from the last deck that I built last year. So we'll be doing that. I've got to calculate materials on that. It's gonna look just like the one in that picture did, where it alternates one by four, one by six, one by four, one by six, so on and so forth, all the way down. So it takes a little bit of time to figure out calculations of all that, especially when we have a deck like this, where it's much, much shorter up at the top and it gets a lot taller out here. It takes a little bit more time and effort to figure out the calculations for how much material they need. Uh, and with the cost of wood these days, I, don't, I wanna make sure that I utilize, uh, get the right lengths and don't have uh, too much waste. Because wood is not cheap, as I'm sure everyone who's walked into a hardware store <laughs> in the last year and a half knows. So anyway, we are gonna get rolling here and I will update you guys later in the day. All right, all of the waterproofing is complete and taped off and everything. So hopefully you can see the entire system as it's come together now. Just like before we have the, the troughs that go in between each joist that get deeper towards the end. And then across both end sections and this middle section right here where we're gonna have a, a deck board going perpendicular to the field, which you'll see later on. It's just a, a flat piece that's stretched across those two because there's a lot of blocking in this joist bay right here. Um, and then we have our short return pieces right there, which are doing the same thing in a very much smaller, a much smaller uh, length of the main troughs but they catch any water that's on that outside edge and it'll just run off the edge there, land in the big trough and down into the gutter. So it's a really basic system. It only took, we actually, we had a, um, we had a work call, uh, like a conference call between me and my brother and dad and the other, uh, the other uh, site foreman uh, last night. And we had finished, we had finished all the waterproofing sometime yesterday. So my brother said we had 18 total man hours in doing this all of this waterproofing start to finish, which includes, you know, picking up, I, I had to drive to pick up the, you know, the roll of the membrane. And then we obviously had to do a, one of the, one of the guys spent a long time, like several hours just cutting it all. And then the actual act of installing it and taping over all the staples and all that kind of stuff. So it went better than definitely the fastest and most efficient one we've done yet. And this is only the third time we've done it. Uh, we watched, there was a guy on Instagram who, who does these a lot and he he had posted some videos uh shout out to dr dex that was a there were some he did some cool videos on on all this like the components all going together so it helped to even though i had done it before it's been five six years probably since the last time i did this uh and for the other guys like garrett and matt who hadn't ever done it yet uh it was helpful for them to watch those videos and see how the whole system goes together so you know what you know what you're not only what it's supposed to look like but how to get there and yeah it's pretty cool so we are going to be we should have decking showing up at some point today i went to lowe's yesterday well me and matt both went to lowe's yesterday and picked up most of the 
one by pressure material pressure treated material that's going around is just skirting around the deck they uh we completely cleaned out <laughs> this lows the nearby lows on some of this stuff it was about 130 total boards of different lengths either one by fours or one by sixes and so we've got a pretty good pretty good amount of it here we got probably 75 percent of what we need here uh to go you know from that outside corner all the way around and around here and around that way and all the way back around to that corner over there underneath that door so that is what we're going to start on this morning uh decking is the priority but it's not here yet so can't work on it when it's not here so that was one of the reasons why we we uh we went and got all of that material yesterday um because don't know in what time the decking is going to show up and if it doesn't show up until later this afternoon we need uh we need something to work on all day so that's our uh we're moving up a little ahead of schedule to get started on that So anyway, that's going to be the end of uh, part two of this deck, to, which was basically all of the, the waterproofing components for this thing. Uh, again, trying to keep these videos to a little bit more, a uh, little bit more consumable or you know, a smaller chunks instead of being huge videos. So for a project of this size, this is, we're just, we're going to be here for about six weeks doing this project. So if I tried to cram all that into like two videos, that would get that would get real long so i don't know how many videos this is going to turn out to be um but you know doing a video per like bulk stage of the project is seems like it might work out to be a cool cool uh cool way to handle the project and break it up and make the videos at a, a more digestible size that's what i was looking for uh so let me know let me know what you guys think down in the comments like and subscribe all that stuff follow on it follow us on instagram um, I, I post pictures of stuff like this. Instagram posts are going to be ahead of the YouTube uploads because I'm posting YouTube uploads like this video is going to be 
several weeks after I actually filmed it just because I try to not be filming and uploading at the same time because I don't want to get to a point where I don't have any content and then I have like three weeks of nothing to upload or I'm trying to like make up something to, to upload. And so stay tuned on there. If you keep up with us on Instagram, you'll kind of see previews of some of this stuff before you actually see the full YouTube video. So follow us on there. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff. If you're tired of seeing this, this type of content, uh, or if you like it and you want more, because I like doing it. But, see you guys for uh, part three, which is going to be all the decking.